It's the end of the world as we know it, and I feel fine. Let's get out of here. I. We are the Beisden of Yushalayim, and we have passed in that all Jews around the world have a obligation, a feel right now, to do whatever is in their power to come to Eretz Yisrael. And that is the mitzvah of the Torah, and that is the mitzvah of, of today, that because, especially because of what's happening around the world and the dangers that all the Jews are in around the world, it's necessary now more than ever to come to Eretz Yisrael, and we as a Bezdin at Paskin, that all the Jews have to come as soon as they can back to Eretz Yisrael. Hey everybody, it's Aaron from God a Minute. Yeah, so what the basics is, we're, we're getting this uh, almost like a commandment, uh, this mitzvah, this Jewish mitzvah. Mitzvah is another word for command or commandment. Uh, there's a debate as to whether this is a Torah obligation or not. Some uh, Jewish people think that this is a commandment to come back to the land, and some people think it's, a, it's more of an option. It's debatable in... Um, the Jewish circle, but they're getting this this uh, idea from Numbers 33, verse 53, you, you shall dispossess the inhabitants of the land and dwell in it, for I have given you the land to possess. Now, if we're waiting for uh, the rapture and the tribulation and all that, um, this is part of prophecy. So, right now, they're, they're calling people back to the land of Israel. They do this every year. I'm going to leave some articles and stuff um, from Israeli news, I think it's called, um, uh, was it 365? Yeah, Is Israel, three, Israel 365 News. I'll put that in the link. There's some videos and things you can read on that. Uh, pretty helpful. But um, what it says in Jeremiah chapter 30, it says, The world came to Jer Jeremiah for, from the Lord, saying, Thus speaks the Lord God to Israel, saying, Write in a book for yourself all the words that I have spoken to you. For behold, the days are coming, says the Lord, that I will bring back from captivity, my people Israel and Judah, says the Lord, and I will cause them to return to the land that I gave to their fathers, and they shall possess it. Now these are the words that the Lord spoke concerning Israel and Judah. For thus says the Lord, we have heard a voice of trembling, of fear, and not of peace. Ask now and see whether a man is ever in labor with child. So why do I see every man with his hands on his loins like a woman in labor? And all faces turn pale, alas, for that day is great, so that none is like it. And it is the time of Jacob's trouble, and he shall be saved out of it. So we're waiting for this time of Jacob's trouble, but it says in Jeremiah 30, verse 3, that he's going to bring back from captivity my people Israel and Judah. And um, if you read some of these articles, uh, one little thing here to note that I really appreciated in this one article. Let me just pull it up. It said, in particular, if the city is inhabited mostly by non-Jews, but Jewish rule has been established, it is a redeemed city, and it is no longer necessary to tear one's clothing and mourn over it. And in brackets, it refers us to Bet Yosef, Orek, Chayam 561, <laughs> Mishni Burnpuria 561b. Okay, so I'll put that article in there. But th their idea, the thought is, since 1948 became a nation, they're able to sort of fulfill, or start the beginning process of fulfilling this, what they call mitzvah commandment, to come back to the land and have it under Jewish rule. And so um, I think they do this yearly, but it's heightening now based on what, What's going on in the world. So, what? How interesting is it that these Sanhedrins, um, these high-level Jewish leaders, are calling people back to the land with more intensity? But that's supposed to happen in the end times. So, this was brought up in our study um, by three people. So, Matthew and Hannah, and the third person that gave me this link was Mary. So, thank you, Mary, for sending me this link, or we're just putting it in, in our chat there. And so I'm going to put the, that in the description box if you want to check out a few of these links and learn more about this subject. We might do a live stream on this just to expand on this thought a little bit more. But really, in its simplistic form, um, the Jews are calling people back to the land. And us with rapture eyes expect that to happen. And so the rapture is even that much closer. And so we don't know when the day is, but we certainly have our guesses. It's important for you to get tight with Christ, get tight with the big man the big man who died for your sins. And um, 
nearly 2,000 years ago. Romans 10, 9 to 13 is an awesome place to start. Okay, Jesus loves you. He died for you. Hopefully you, you hop on the Jesus train before it's too late. It's going to get rough pretty soon. And uh, there's, a, there's an awesome way out. The Redeemer is coming. The Ga'al, uh, that's the Hebrew word for Redeemer, Ga'al. So, okay, talk to you soon. We are one day closer, seeing the clouds. Adios, muchachos.